video and we're gonna get started with a Graceborn kind of Bloodborne inspired overhaul of Elden Ring. I think it's really cool and I think you'd like it. Uh, if you need more details, etc., just look at the description and go to the mod page. So, um, getting into it, there's the files. What you need to do is go to a manual download, slow download, and this is a five gigabyte file, mainly because it is a overhaul of the entire game. So what you really need to do is you're going to want to download it, and obviously it's going to pop here. What you want to either do is show in folder to open it, or drag and drop it to your main menu like I. So, once this is downloading, go ahead and just click on it. And you're going to be introduced to these two files here. One says game, one says mod engine 2. First thing you're going to want to do is you're going to locate wherever your Elden Ring is located. For me, that's in Steam Apps Common Elden Ring. I created a shortcut for it just so I can get straight to the directory. I highly recommend doing the same thing. It's pretty easy. Just create a shortcut and copy and paste this once you find it and that's basically it so once you find it click on game like i just did on both of them go ahead and copy and paste i like to copy and paste that way i can keep the files that way in case i can do this again without having to re-download the mod so uh, either copy and paste or just drag it into this file once that's done, go back here, do the exact same thing here. Just drag and drop Mod Engine 2 in there like I already have. Then you're going to want to go straight to uh, the Graceborn site page again. Go to description or the description below, which it, everything, all the links, etc. are going to be down there. Click on the reshade. And it's going to ask you to download the reshade setup. I've already done this, so I'm not going to do it twice. But once it's done downloading, just go ahead and go to here, go show in folder, then open. And it might not pop up with Elden Ring straight off the bat. If it does, good, click on it. But if it doesn't for me, like it does for me, then no. So you're going to click browse. For me, it automatically takes me here. But if you haven't already, like I did, if you create that shortcut and you just copy and paste the URL up here, and paste it into this right here. Then it'll just take you straight here. Game, Elden Ring, open, then next. Microsoft 10, 11, 12. Now for me, I've already downloaded this. So if it's already downloaded, this is basically how you update it, etc. But I'm gonna uninstall it and then reinstall it for it. So basically you just wanna uninstall where for me, I'm gonna have to uninstall. Finish. And I'm just gonna go back in there. And game. Go back here. Gonna open it back up. And going to do the exact same process over again. Just gonna find my Elden Ring. Track 10, 11, 12. Now just ignore all this, go to browse. And obviously go to the place wherever you keep Elden Ring. Obviously, you know, same process as before. Just go ahead and copy and paste that into the bar if it doesn't take you there automatically. Click on the grace board configuration, click open, click next, click finish, and you should be done. Just go ahead and go into your Elden Ring download file. Right here, go to Mod Engine 2, go to Launch Mod Elden Ring, and see if it works. And it looks like it does. Now, I'm not gonna get too much into it, but you know, look at videos, look at gameplay. You know, it's a really popular mod, you know, for obvious reasons. I'm not gonna go too much into it because I don't really have the time. But if you have any questions, comments, concerns about the mod, or any errors you're encountering, make sure to comment them or join the Discord and talk to me. There's multiple ways to get to me, and that's basically the end of the video. If you liked or enjoyed it, go ahead and hit me with a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>